All right, I'm going to show you a bit of stuff up here. I, I travel a lot in this job. I do a good, you know, 50, 60,000 miles a year, something like that. Uh, and I see a lot of things that make me laugh. It's so easy nowadays to take a, a picture of your phone. I like to take little snaps of stuff that's made me chuckle. So I'm going to show you a few of these. I'll just get to my computer. In fact, I'll get out of the way so I'm not blocking your view of the screen. Here we go. This first one, I was doing some shows in Cornwall. And um, unusually for me, I took the train. I don't normally do that. But it was very weird because everybody on my carriage, literally every single person, had the most enormous ears. Here you go, have a look at this. <laughs> I was cut up in traffic by this guy recently. I thought, well, blood, if it's an emergency, you go right ahead, innit? <laughs> <laughs> when I get in at night after my gigs, I like to watch a bit of telly to unwind, usually horror films or something. And I saw an advert the other day that made me laugh. Uh, it, was a, it was an advert, like a glue for dentures. It was called Fixident. I took a little screen grab of it. I'll show you, show you what I liked about it. Here we go. If you have a look at that, there's a woman inside a giant human mouth that's chomping down on a carrot. You might be concerned for her safety, but don't worry. There's a legal disclaimer at the bottom there. <laughs> Dramatisation. <laughs> Who is that for? <laughs> Who's watching that going, where did they get that tiny actress? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of Pointless. Any other fans in? Yeah, yeah I love it, right? And my favourite thing about Pointless, I look forward to every episode, is the giant robot owls. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. One other person, literally one other person. Rest of you, have a look at this. Every episode. There you go. <laughs> you will never unsee that. <laughs> That's round three, the head to head round, right? Uh, last Valentine's Day, I was looking for a nice card to get the missus, and it was tricky because I wanted something that was sincere and sensitive and showed my feelings, but I also wanted something that was quite light-hearted and funny. I was trying to find the right balance. I looked through loads and loads of cards trying to find the right one, and I came across this next one. And is it just me, or does this have a slightly menacing air about it? Well, decide for yourselves. Here we go. I'd like to put an unexpected <laughs> item in your bagging area. appropriate in any way. <laughs> I may not know a lot about modern sexual etiquette, but I know there's one thing it's never supposed to be, and that's unexpected, isn't it? <laughs> Rule number one, surely. So anyway, it was a very awkward Valentine's Day in our house. <laughs> yes, I did buy it. I'm a bloody idiot. Right. Motorway services sell alcohol now, and I think that's a bit weird, but they do, so fair enough. And I saw this sign at a welcome break on the M5. Alcohol purchased in this motorway service area cannot be consumed inside or outside the premises. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out what that meant, although, to be fair, I was pissed, so... <laughs> And I think that's why tramps drink in doorways. They've found a loophole. <laughs> well done, again. That's one of my favourite bits. My old flat was in Erdington in Birmingham, and I lived just a couple of hundred yards away from this place on the Gravelly Hill Road. And I used to pop in there about one afternoon a week and call a 15-year-old a twat. <laughs> It's important to do your bit for the community, isn't it? I'm not entirely sure how it helped, but they seem to think it was important. I was doing a show in Canterbury. I was driving down there on the M2. I got stuck at some roadworks for ages, and I saw this sign. There you go. I remember when they were just called Workmen. I was doing a gig at Liverpool University. I don't play universities very often nowadays. You know, I'm like 20, what, 28 years older than most of the kids who've just started, you know. So I thought as I was walking in, I needed to find out a bit about the crowd that I was going to be facing. So I, yeah, I have a look at the posters. That's my little trick. And the first poster I saw in the student union had been put up by the Vegan Society. It was this poster of a pig and a dog. There you go. Why love one but eat the other? And I looked at that, and that made me realise the error of my ways. Exactly. <laughs> 
Exactly. So I went home and ate my dog. You were all ahead of that. That did not need spelling out at all, did it? All right. Beautiful. I get to stay at a lot of very glamorous places on the road, and I don't mean to show off or humble brag, but not long ago, I was staying at a Holiday Inn in Brent Cross. Ah. Yeah, 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 touch me. And uh, not only did I have a lovely shower, but also I found out what my tattoo means. <laughs> have you got a home bargains round here? Yeah, excellent. Good, good. Some places are too posh. I love a home bargains, right? For anyone who doesn't know, home bargains is kind of like the new Woolworths. It's a place for buying cheap shit. Uh, and I, I go to home bargains all the time, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that Mrs. Doyle off of Father Ted has got a job stacking shelves in my local home bargains. I'll tell you why. This is what I saw. Here we go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> I do love a curry, though, if I get to a show early enough, I like to pop out before and have one, you know. Uh, and I was in Derby doing a show, I got there early, I went for one, and it was quite nice, but it was a bit saltier than I'd normally like, and a bit creamier as well, if I'm being honest with you. And I probably shouldn't have got it from this place. Bolty cum. That, really. <laughs> I like to play the National Lottery from time to time. There's only one place I'd ever buy my tickets. It's the luckiest place in the country. I'd advise you all to go there. It's a small roundabout on the A50 just outside of Stoke. I'll show you why. Three rollovers in 12 months. That's the place. That's the one to go to. That...